and replacing the control arm on this uh, 2005 Avalon. This is the same uh, for the Sienna um, that has the 3.5, um, 3.3. This is this is the worst one. Is this driver side, and it's it's the worst one of all. I've done a lot of research, and I. Um, I was able to get this motor mount out and what I want to tell y'all all you really got to do you did, I didn't even remove the torque mount um, I could have done that I don't really think it's I mean it wasn't necessary I did take the top nut off of the uh, motor mount on the other side so it could lift up just a little bit because that was easy um, I didn't really feel like messing with the torque mount even though it's really not hard I just wanted to see if I could just do it this way first and it worked um so you know the main issue here is just getting clearance to get this out right so what you got to do i've seen people in these videos do all kinds of stuff and the best way to do this is to remove the three bolts on the bottom of the motor mount it actually i don't think even really matters if you remove the top one or the ones on the bottom i just did ones on the bottom because I'm working down here and this is a subframe bolt here and then you have two brackets here so first just loosen this one up don't take it all the way out just loosen it up about that much maybe half an inch and you've got one right here this is a subframe bolt also and then just you can just remove the two bracket bolts there but leave the leave these subframe bolts in just drop them about half an inch. That's that's a safe amount. The subframe's not going to fall off. Um, and then jack the motor up. Yeah, I mean on the transmission right here, uh, to where you know you it's it's you start to feel a little see a little tension in it. But you take a breaker bar after you've uh, dropped these uh, subframe bolts, the one here and then the one there and then the uh, front motor mount uh, bolts taken out. Um, you can take a breaker bar and just put it right here and you just gotta push on it just a little bit and it, it'll move, see that? See it moves a little bit, but if you, um, if you just push on it just a little bit, I mean, it's already goes down when you, when you take these brackets loose and uh, loosen up these about half an inch, it already goes down some, but just push it just a little more and it'll come right out. Um, like I said, I, I didn't have to take out the torque mount. Um, I really, it's really not that bad. I've seen people do it way more than what was really needed. Uh, and it's just really a matter of just getting this subframe just loose enough to where it drops about half an inch and uh, you're good.